Hey guys, welcome back. Yes, today is actually a sequel to one of my previous videos where I created some slimes from Slime Rancher. More specifically, I created the Rock Slime, Tabby Slime, and a couple versions of the Pink Slime. Now, I had planned on making more of them anyway, but people really seem to like them, and they're fun little easy guys to print. So, here we are. So, these were the original four that I printed, and I printed a base for them. So, they look pretty lonely. We need to give them some friends. Alright, so this is them all together. Um, probably should have printed another base, but I think this looks pretty cool because there's just so many of them. But um, we added the Rad Slime right here, the Phosphor Slime, the Honey Slime, and the Boom Slime. I think the Honey Slime is my favorite out of these, but I also really like the Phosphor Slime. Now this one you do need to print with support. The rest of them will be fine without it, but this guy you do. And the Rad Slime is basically just the same Pink Slime model, but his eyes are a little bit crazier, and obviously paint them differently. And actually I thought this one would be kind of cool if you had some green, um, some clear green filament. I actually have some. Uh, but to print it clear and with a hole in the bottom and stick a light in there so it'd glow, that might be kind of cool. And the Boom Slime is also pretty awesome. I just put a bunch of little indentations and cracks in him, so it looks like the um, lava fiery stuff that's in the game. Well, overall, I think these came out pretty good. I created them in Fusion 360. Um, I actually used the templates that I set up with the first batch that I created uh, to make life a little bit easier on myself. So I already had things like the mouth, the eyes, and the general shape of the body ready to go so I could just add the new details. Except for the Phosphor Slime, I actually decided to stretch this one out a bit so it's a little bit taller than the rest of the slimes and um, that's just to make it appear like it's bouncing or something like that. And then, of course, I printed them out on my lovely Robo 3D R1, still going strong. And then my wife painted them using a combination of airbrush and paintbrush techniques. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I have a lot of fun making these guys, and they just look so satisfying after my wife paints them. And so I have one more batch of slimes to um, complete the collection, and I will be creating them at some time in the future. And I was also thinking about creating some variations of the current slimes that I have. So, like you know, creating a rock slime that has a closed mouth or creating the, the mouth that they have when they're hungry, something like that. So if there's any weird combination of that, that you'd like to see, uh, put it down in the description. If you guys continue to like these Slime Rancher models, I will continue to make more and even venture into the Largos and getting some of the combinations of them together because that could be pretty cool too. So let me know what you guys think. Well, that pretty much wraps it up. Um, if you liked this video, make sure you like and get subscribed if you're not already, and leave me a comment letting me know what you thought. Also, if you print any of these for yourself, uh, tweet me a picture. I'm at Chaos Cortec. I always love to see what you guys are printing. And then that's all for me, guys. I'll leave you with next week's preview. Okay, so this one's half painted, so it looks really weird, but it is Baby Dory. So cute!